Uh, we've got uh, this year our first spacewalk. Elon Musk just announced in his latest speech. This project is part of a collaboration program called Polaris. Not only will it give us the opportunity to admire classic moments in space, it'll provide us the first appearance of the highly anticipated futuristic EVA or AVA spacesuit made by SpaceX. In today's episode of Alpha Tech, let's delve deeper into the insane updates in both the mission and the spacesuit as revealed by Musk. And quickly, before the mission unfolds. In September of 2021, Jared Isaacman and three crew members went for a private ride on SpaceX's Crew Dragon rocket and made history. The Inspiration4 mission was the first all-civilian private spaceflight to make it to orbit. Clearly, Isaacman was inspired. The private space patron is going with SpaceX farther and further than any other player in the industry has gone before, and perhaps even breaking an orbital flight record along the way. Just six months later, Isaacman and SpaceX unveiled three new private space missions that they called Polaris. The Shift 4 Payments Service founder wants to use Polaris to beat a 58-year-old space flight record. In 1966, astronauts Pete Conrad and Charles Gordon flew the Gemini 11 mission 856 miles above Earth, the highest Earth orbit ever achieved. The first mission of Polaris, dubbed Polaris Dawn, was initially scheduled for launch in early 2022, but was delayed until April of 2024, nearly a year and a half behind the original plan. The delays were attributed to challenges in developing the EVA suit and modifications to the Crew Dragon, which lacked a wind lock. However, the launch schedule for this mission is now certain. During Elon Musk's outdoor update session on January 12th at the Starbase built site in Texas, he confidently declared about the mission, we've got this year our first spacewalk. Furthermore, Musk also shared insights into the specially designed EVA spacesuit that SpaceX has developed specifically for spacewalks, showcasing the complex technical capabilities and advantages it offers to astronauts during use. We've got to redesign the suit so that you can actually move around in it, Musk said. The SpaceX spacesuit is a new device with advanced technology. This suit would embody a cost-effective means for both astronauts and future clients to safely perform a spacewalk or extravehicular activity while exploring both the moon and Mars. These suits may even replace those currently used in NASA missions, especially for the upcoming Artemis III flight in 2026. Moreover, when aiming for greater ambitions of building a base on the moon and a city on Mars, which will, no doubt, require thousands of space travel suits, Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, stated that developing these suits and deploying extravehicular activity will be crucial steps toward designing suits that can be scalable for long-term missions in the future. However, this uniqueness necessitates significant differences from regular suit versions posing numerous challenges. The challenge lies in creating suits that allow for movement in the vacuum of space, where even the slightest malfunction can be critical. If you just inflate the suit, you know, you're just basically, you're kind of like one of those balloons at a party or something. So, you know, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit and have the joints move. When the spacesuit is depressurized, meaning those not spacewalking, are also in a vacuum, the requirements for the additional spacesuit become more complex, demanding precision and reliability. So obviously, very important that it works, Musk said. We're going to put a lot of testing into this and... But this... There's going to be another significant milestone. In addition to careful research on the EVA suit, Musk also highlighted a success that he and the SpaceX team addressed to ensure a stable schedule for the Polaris 
Polaris mission in 2024, a year projected with hundreds of busy missions for Falcon and Dragon. We also have now completed a second crew arm in Florida, so we've got two towers that are capable of two launch pads that are capable of sending astronauts to orbit, and this is going to be great. With the upgrade of SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station with the crew cargo access tower, SpaceX will no longer be confined to just one launch pad for crew missions. Currently restricted to LC-39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center along with a pad they share with Falcon Heavy. Crew missions in general, and specifically the Polaris missions, will not be dependent on any schedule related to the launch pad switching. Next, of course, we cannot overlook the crucial role played by the Dragon spacecraft in launching astronauts for the Polaris mission into space. The distinct environment for the Dragon spacecraft while assisting in the execution of the first spacewalking mission has presented challenges, leading to modifications in recent years. In the vacuum environment of space, the spacecraft also needed a wind lock to release and reseal air. However, lacking a wind lock, Dragon had to undergo software and hardware changes to enable pressure reduction within the cabin before spacewalking and readjusting the pressure afterward. This has been one of the factors causing delays for the Polaris mission. Fortunately, in December of 2023, Isaacman, the billionaire sponsoring the mission, emphasized SpaceX engineers are doing an outstanding job tackling big problems very quickly. Although they haven't disclosed many specific details about the new technical upgrades when combined with the insights from Musk shared in the 2024 update, it brings a sense of reassurance about the changes to Dragon and the outlined vehicle. In his speech, Musk also extended praise and congratulations for the contributions Dragon has made to the aerospace industry, affirming its exceptional capabilities that no other spacecraft currently possesses. Dragon has made remarkable strides achieving an extraordinary track record of success. As of last year, the cumulative time Dragon spent in orbit exceeded that of the entire space shuttle fleet, surpassing an impressive 1,300 days. This noteworthy accomplishment reflects the Dragon's reliability and endurance in space. Additionally, Dragon has outpaced the space shuttle in visits to the space station, showcasing its versatility and efficiency. Musk proudly stated about Dragon, Space is relatively easy, but orbit is very difficult, so... We've now taken 42 humans to orbit and back. No big deal. The reliability lies in the safe return of these astronauts, a factor resonating strongly within SpaceX. The year of 2023 emerged as a pinnacle for the company, marking the best year in its history. The Dragon team's exceptional achievements were underscored, emphasizing the use of flight-proven Dragon spacecraft for all missions. Looking ahead, SpaceX aims to launch approximately seven or eight Dragon missions this year, further solidifying Dragon's status as a symbol of space exploration success. Expanding the scope of their common ambitions, collaborating with billionaire Isaacman on the Polaris mission, but also partnering with the leading U.S. space agency, NASA. The Polaris program, a joint venture involving SpaceX and NASA, envisions a future mission led by Isaacman that could rendezvous with Hubble. The mission aims not only to nudge Hubble higher up in orbit, but also also to conduct necessary repairs and upgrades to the iconic space telescope. Hubble has faced periodic outages due to technical glitches, prompting efforts to enhance its functionality and extend its viable contributions to astronomical research. According to Isaacman, he and SpaceX are willing to undertake a sixth Hubble servicing mission more or less pro bono, with little or no potential cost to the government. According to Isaacman, it's possible that the study could result in a a Hubble servicing mission becoming the second Polaris program mission. The cargo bay of a space shuttle was large enough to hold Hubble, which at 13.2 by 4.2 meters is roughly the size of a school bus. The SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, including the trunk portion that is jettisoned before the crew capsule returns to Earth, is smaller than Hubble at about 8.1 meters by 4. During the last shuttle mission to Hubble, astronauts installed a docking ring that was to help NASA take Hubble out of orbit when it needed to. The crew Dragon might be able to link to this ring in order to raise the observatory's orbit. The next steps depend on what comes out of the feasibility study. 
However, alongside the proposal of using Dragon, many scientists believe that the better choice is SpaceX's Starship. Former astronaut and NASA's chief scientist John Grunsfeld, an astronomer who has served in the most recent three servicing missions of the Hubble, stated that, One of the discussions I had with SpaceX a long time ago was to use Starship. It has such capability. You can add airlocks, new instruments, and other big stuff to grab Hubble, bring it back, refurbish it, and put it back up again. I've not dug into the low-level details, but I think that a Dragon reboost would be relatively low risk if that's all they do, he adds. There is a risk that if you dock too hard, you could break something, like a solar array. Hubble wasn't designed to be as robust as the International Space Station. Well, that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you thought about the Hubble Space Telescope mission through the second mission of the Polaris program. And how about that Crew Dragon? Basically, let me know what part stood out to you the most, because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time.